Hey guys, it looks like today that support for the SOPA bill, that Stop Online Privacy Act. No, oh, wait a minute. Stop Online Piracy Act. <laughs> they want to stop both, I'm sure. It looks like it may fail because a lot of the key supporters are starting to scramble. And which I'm not surprised because if, if you have a kitchen in an old house and you shine the light on cockroaches, they all scatter. And that's what uh, politicians do when people sh shine a light on their deeds. And so they're saying they're going to rework the bill. And, and what that means is they're just going to kind of take it back and wait till you guys forget about it all. And then they're just going to try to sneak it in at the last minute. Because some of them said they're worried about unintended consequences. And one thing I've learned about the government is always amazing how unintended consequences always seem to happen. It's almost like it was actually intentional instead of unintentional. And to be fair, a lot of these politicians are old and I don't even think they can use a computer. If they use a keyboard, it's probably, you know, like old people's all cap letters. Uh, but they, they do realize who's like, um, you know, uh, their, their rat face friends in Hollywood are giving them a lot of... So that, so that talks. And one of the worries about the unintended consequences of this bill is that it would limit or chill free speech on the internet. Okay, a little background how this works. Basically, SOPA would make the hosting companies liable for anything that the members should do that relates to supposedly a copyright, which in essence would make basically the whole internet in violation. You know, if you're on Facebook and you post something that's a copyright, Facebook could technically be in violation. YouTube would constantly in violation. I follow the Denver Broncos football team message board, it would be in violation. World of Warcraft forums, in violation. You just couldn't stop it. Of course that's ridiculous. That'd be like telling a car manufacturer, let's say Subaru, if anyone gets in your car and drives drunk and crashes it, Subaru, you're going to be held responsible and we can set, shut you down if that should happen. So why does the government want to do this? I think Ayn Rand said this perfect in her book Atlas Shrugged. There's no way to rule the innocent man. The only way, the only power a government has is over a criminal. And what if you don't have enough criminals? It's easy. You make more laws and make everyone a criminal. Does this mean they would shut down the entire internet? No, of course not. What this would mean, though, is instead of the rule of law and rights, is everything is based on privilege. And being able to speak or say what you want is a privilege. So hosting companies would be in constant fear of these Hollywood executives, our special friends, and making sure that they don't offend them. Because most things that just let slide, like at the Denver Bronco Forum, they probably let the copyright slide there, right? But let's say if you should have a forum about Holocaust denial or something like it's not politically incorrect, no one would want to host that because our special friends would launch lawsuits. <laughs>